Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, uh, so a little salmon fly tonight. This one is the Red October but in a cone body shrimp style. So. I'm going to put on a little bit of 1.8mm inner there, that's about 12 to 15mm long, uh, and I've flared one end of it with my lighter. So, next, I'm going to put on approximately 8 to 10mm of 1.8mm black outer, and I'm just going to push that back until there's only about 3 mil or so of it sticking on the other side of the flange that it burnt. So, we'll take a strongish tie-in thread here. Colours are relevant because it's not going to be seen. And I'm just using that to bind down the outer onto the inner so it shouldn't slip past the flange. And then we're going to put on a simple tail of red uh, arctic runner. I take a bunch of that trim it flat add a little dab of super glue just to the cut end and then I'm going to stick that up here before it dries and then for flash I'm going to use a crystal mirage or a crinkle mirage sorry. So put a single strand on top and fold it back and then trim these off at around three quarters the tail length. So you can see we get those two strands on top. So we're going to use a gold light bright next. And so we just double a little bit of that onto our thread and create a nice tight little ball there. Take our tying thread to the front of the step and just a few turns to set in place. So the body on this one's quite simple, it's a gold cone. Now you need to look for something that has a fairly decent uh, recess into it. So that it can accept, basically that it's big enough to take the, uh, the outer tubing into it. set that onto our tube, take our super glue and put a blob of super glue there. Then we'll push the cone up onto it so that it sort of recesses back over our tubing and the super glue sets it in place. So now we swap over now onto our standard 6O black thread. We want to do all the tie-in here on about 3 mil or so, if we can help it, of tubing. So, uh, first things first is a wing. So I'm going to use uh, a little bunch here of red fox mask, dyed red fox mask. I'm going to measure that out until it's just about longer than the uh, tube itself. If there's a lot of short under fluff there, we'll get rid of that, measure it again, swap hands, so now take your super glue and just put a little blob of it there and then do a pinch loop as if you were tying in like a mallard wing or something and pull that down so that we only catch the very end of our fox bunch and that'll create our little wing for us. Next we're going to tie in 
a red soft hackle as the first hackle. So I'm going to take one, strip off the unwanted bit, find the tip, separate it out. Tie it in by its tip and flip it back and a turn or two over to secure it. And then we're going to double this through by wrapping through finger and thumb as we go and stroking it back all the time to make it neatish. But it's not imperative that it's really neat because you're going to have a hybrid cone in front of this that pushes it all back. Anyway, so a couple of turns to tie it off, one turn back on itself just to catch it and break the hackle off. Now we're going to put on the jungle cock eyes. So I'm going to pick a couple of small jungle cock from this sort of end here of our cape. I'm going to strip back the sort of fluff to the bit where I want to wrap it in on. Put a turn on it. Do the same with my near side eye, measure it up for length by looking at it across the back and then tie across it. So we can now take these stalks and pull them until they're matched for length. And to secure them just flip the stalks back and put one centimeter of glued thread wrap that across them. Two turns will, will do it. So you can either break these off then. So just take a pair of pliers and break them off or you can flip them up with sharp scissors and cut them off. And that's our jungle cock eyes on. So to finish this fly now we're going to put on a red, dyed red badger hackle. And we can choose to wrap this in either tip first or rear first. Uh, it's up to yourself. If you wrap by the rear, uh, you get more of the defined black center portion to it. And if you wrap by the front, the stalk is thinner and neater. So we'll put that on. And then again, sliding it between finger and thumb as we wrap, folding all back. We create our head hackle, flip it back, tie it in, and trim that off. So we don't want to create a huge big head here because we're going to put one of these hybrid cones on and they uh, don't have as much depth of recess. So we set that on, pull back our fibres and get on a little bit of super glue and then recess that hybrid cone back onto it. Turn that off. Now take our fly off. Take our scissors and cut leaving about one and a half to two mil of inner still stuck out the front. Hold the fly vertically and your lighter horizontally and flame that down and then I just like to take a bodkin just before it totally dries it's or sets itself again and just put that in to make the whole patent. And that is our little Red October cone body tube. So we have a fly here that equates to about a size 12 I'd say, hook size, uh, but it has the weight of the cone in it and uh, it allows you then to use obviously whatever hook you want in the back depending on your rules and regulations at the time. So hopefully it gives you some ideas, hopefully it catches some fish. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.